So then, next up is electricity cost calculations, right? Now, for household use, electricity is measured in kilowatt hours. Okay, now a kilowatt hour, as weird as it sounds, isn't power. A kilowatt hour is actually a measure of energy. Um, so you can go and convert kilowatt hours to joules, uh, for example, right? So it's actually a measure of energy. And one kilowatt hour is the amount of energy used by a one kilowatt appliance that operates for one hour. So what a one kilowatt appliance would use in an hour? It's a kilowatt hour, right? So this, for example, um, would be if you have a kettle. So a kettle is usually about a thousand watts, a kilowatt. So if you have a kettle on for an hour, a whole hour, that should use one kilowatt hour of electricity. Okay, so how do we find the cost? Well, the cost is Take, well, found by going appliance power in kilowatts times the time in hours times the cost per kilowatt hour. So you can actually go work out how this works because the appliance in kilowatts, right, is kW. You multiply it by the time in hours and then you multiply it by the cost per kilowatt hour. So that's something in rands per kilowatt hour, right? And if you go see here, you've got kilowatts in the denominator, and this kilowatt would be in the numerator, um, and then you've got hours in the denominator, and that hours in the numerator, which then means you're left with rands, um, which is the unit for cost. Um, so that's one way to justify that formula there. So now, what you're going to do, please, for the final time, is to pause the video and to see if you can calculate the answer here. Okay, so well done if you gave that a try. Let's see whether you were on the right track. So John owns a heater that is rated at 700 watts. ESCOM charges him 90 cents per kilowatt hour. He budgets that he can spend 400 rand a month to heat up his home. So in a month with 30 days, how many hours a day can John afford to keep the heater on? Okay, right. So we know that the cost is equal to the appliance rating in kilowatt hours, right? So here, ach, in kilowatt hours, in kilowatts, right? So we've got 700 watts, um, which to get a kilowatt, we've got to divide by a thousand, right? So the appliance rating is going to be 0 0.7 kilowatts, right? Then we know we have to go and multiply it by the time in hours. So I'm just going to put here time in hours. Okay. And then we know we have to multiply it by the cost per kilowatt hour. And here it's going to be 0 0.90. Okay. So you might notice that I've got a few things that are missing here. Um, well, two things. The one is time in hours and the other thing is cost. Right, so which can we actually sub in for? Well, it's actually the cost because we know that his budget is going to be 400. So here where I see cost, I can go substitute in the 400. Okay, so then we can go 400 divided by that product of 0 0.7 and 0 0.90. Um, and I get that that means 634,92. Okay. So 634,92 is equal to the time in hours, okay? So that's then the number of hours that he can afford over the 30 days. So to get the hours per day that he can um, keep the heater on, well, we've got to take the 634,92 and go and divide it by the number of days, right? So if we do that, we get that he can keep the heater on for 21.16 hours per day, which means that he can pretty much just leave it on all the time, can't he? Okay, right. So that would be nice um, if it were true that ESCOM charges 90 cents per kilowatt hour or that uh, uh, average heater only uses 700 watts. But that's the beauty of examples is you can make up something about the world you would love to live in. So that's going to be us for today. 
Um, I really hope that you learned something and good luck with your journey forward, especially in electrodynamics. I hope you think it's as fun and interesting a section as I do. Cheers for now. Thank you.